right, everybody. Today it's just me to tell you that we're on day five on the trail, but day four on the AT. And we've been hiking for about an hour. And most of it's up, but right now we got a nice down. So I thought I'd take a minute to say hi and let you know we're doing great. And I'll flip this around here in a second and show you a little bit of the trail this morning. It's overcast and cool, but comfortable. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt, but I gotta say I'm the only one. Everyone else looks like they're dressed for winter. So we'll see you guys later. Hey, everybody. Just drill here. Your boy just drill. Guess where we are? Blood Mountain Shelter. That means we just climbed up to a total elevation of 4,400 feet, the highest point in Georgia on the Appalachian Trail. This is the oldest shelter on the Appalachian Trail. Built a couple hundred years ago. There's not supposed to camp in here unless it's an emergency. They say it's really, really drafty in here. You can tell it was built a long, long time ago. That's just it. It's two rooms. And the original fireplace has been stoned in because they don't want you building a fire in here. This is a great gathering point for everybody up here at the top. After a half of a day's work of climbing up constantly. They got these huge boulders here. Up here on top. Oh, that wind feels so good. We have worked up such a sweat climbing up here. miles of straight down. There's my girl. At the top of Blood Mountain, we made it. And it wasn't the monster that I'll say some people make it. It took us some time, but um, we got here. I'm actually a little more worried about the down. What do you see? What do you see? Beer cap, pizza, Coca Cola. All right, everyone. We made it down Blood Mountain. All right. This is the shoe tree. This story tells that people, when they come down from Blood Mountain and they've had enough and they're off the trail, they come here, take off their hiking shoes, and throw them up in the tree. 
and that's probably 25 to 30 percent of the people that start when they get to this point they're off trail they're done they decided it isn't for them Hey, hey, Scotty Badgers, Earl and the girl. Hey, let's recap our day. Got a lot of sun today, sunburn. Anyway, we started out at the base of... Blood Mountain. Blood Mountain. Oh, we my. We at Lance oh Creek my. Restoration. We went up almost 2,000 feet in two miles. It was a long, long, long hike up. And then it was another 2,000 miles down. We no, just 2,000 feet. We didn't go 2,000 miles. 2,000 feet. I'm sorry. I'm tired. No, no, no. Don't mess up like that, Bruno. No. But anyway, yeah, uh, on the way down, there was a few sections of rock scrambling where we actually had to, like, uh, sit and pull ourselves down. And big rocks. Big rocks. But, wow. What an adventure. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. What a great adventure. So then we came into famous Neil's Gap. Did you see all the shoes in the tree? Um, statistics and rumor has it that 30% of all the through hikers that started down to Springer Mountain, by the time they get to Neil's Gap, they don't make it. They quit for one reason or another. Maybe they just, it's not what they thought. Maybe they got hurt. Maybe they had something that happened at home. They have to go home, but for whatever reason, 30% of them. We didn't really see that today, though. Like, everyone that we've been hiking around and with has continued on. Like, yeah. nobody was yeah. going so home. So anyway, usually, getting usually when people get to Neil's Gap, that's a great place to resupply, which we did. We picked up three days' worth of food. A lot of people... You can stay there at Neil's Gap. They have um, the Blood Mountain shelter, the cabins, Blood Mountain cabins. And then you can also go into Blairsville. There's a couple of hotels and restaurants and, and stuff like that. And a lot of people were taking a zero. A zero is a day where you don't get any miles in. A Nero is a day where you'll get up early and get four or five or six miles in and hike into a spot where the shuttle will pick you up and take you to a hotel and then you spend the rest of the day there and take it easy and then start again in the next morning so uh, it, they are exactly what they say uh, a Nero is near zero miles and a zero is zero zero miles speaking of miles today was our even though we had Blood Mountain today was our, our longest one we had nine 9.4 today. Well, our first day was longer, but... Our legs are getting stronger. Um, no aches. No pains. No, no, no. No tumbles yet. No falls. No spills. Lots of cool stuff. And um, that's about it for tonight. We love you all. We love you. But remember... Anybody in, in particular... I'm not sure. You're not sure? How about the girls in the card club? Linda Hollenbrand, Kathy, Nancy, Janie, Diana, Diana, and Barb, you are so much reason to smile. And how about all the ladies down the crew? Mm. Diana, Natalie, and Heidi, and even Sarah. Um, you guys definitely are someone's reason to smile. And how about maybe Rick Mills? You're someone's reason to smile. And how about Marie? Our favorite Marie. We can't forget Marie. You are definitely somebody's reason to smile. So, y'all take care. We'll check in in the morning. All right. Love you guys. Bye.